What is going on you guys? This is Tech HD coming at you with a brand new review video and today what we're going to be reviewing is this shotgun microphone. Now this is the Movo VXR100 shotgun microphone and I would say that this is a budget microphone but this is a really good budget microphone. Why? Because it comes with a lot of cool accessories where you have to buy it separately but it comes with it which is really awesome and for the price it does really good audio quality where if you compare it. Now let's say don't compare it to something really expensive like $400 like the Rode NTG four or four plus or three or anything like that don't compare it to any of those microphones because obviously this microphone cannot compete with those types of microphones this is 80 bucks and for the price it does the job it does amazing sound quality it comes with cool accessories stuff like that to just get you started and we're going to be talking about the features that's with it the pros the cons where it comes with all of those good stuff and then you're going to be hearing some sound tests from both the on-camera microphone to the lavalier microphone to the shotgun microphone so we're going to be comparing it see how it does and let's get right into a view video so the first thing that we're going to be talking about is what it comes with basically everything that it comes with in the packaging and for 80 bucks it comes with all the accessories really needed where if you compare it to like a 400 dollar microphone it only comes with the microphone and i think cables where you have to buy all the accessories that come with this separately and it's pretty expensive but with all this 80 bucks you get everything that you basically need whether it's indoor outdoor running gunner all those types of things so the first thing that you see of course is the shotgun microphone itself it also comes with a double a battery and it also goes with uh, xlr as well we're going to be talking about that a little bit later but it also comes with a shock mount for uh to reduce a little bit if you're going handheld and if you're moving around, you don't want it to, uh, you don't want the microphone to catch a lot of the noise. And then you also got a microphone as well. If you want to reduce a little bit of the background noise, you want to basically remove a little bit of the wind if you're outside. But if you are outside, then you will want to use this furry windscreen. This is specifically for outside. So if it's really windy outside, you can use that and it could remove a lot of it. And then it also comes with this handheld grip. So you could basically put this shock mount and then you could put the microphone and then you could be a running gunner and because of the shock mount the microphone won't catch a lot of you like moving around and it'll get nice crispy audio which is excellent and it also comes with a standard xlr cable and an xlr to 3.5 millimeter cable these are both measured at 11 inches and it also comes with a 26 foot xlr cable which is honestly ridiculous that's so much in length in the cabling like you could use that for whatever really purpose of it so that's insane i'm not showing you it because it's basically with myself and it's going to be a hassle removing it so that's pretty insane it also comes with another mount but i definitely prefer the shock mount and if i'm missing anything and you guys actually want to see it you guys could check out my unboxing video where i show you guys everything it'll be down in the description below or you could click over here as well so that you guys will go check it out because i definitely recommend it because i show you guys everything the 26 foot xlr cable all the other accessories i think that's about it and it also provides you with the double a battery i think i already said that but basically it comes with everything that you're gonna need right out of the box where if you compare it to more a more expensive microphone it comes with just a microphone and maybe cables but it doesn't come with let's say a furry windscreen for outdoor use a microphone as well and it doesn't provide you with like a hand grip if you want to be like a running gunner you want to follow the subject and get nice audio quality stuff like that and it doesn't come with an extra xlr cable for shorter if you want it to be like right on top of your microphone or a xlr to 3.5 millimeter cable so for 80 bucks it comes with a lot of accessories and i think that's fantastic so the next thing that we're going to be talking about are the features now what are the features that come with this microphone or there are a couple but what's really cool about this is that the ones that it comes with if you compare it to like a more pricey uh xlr microphone shotgun microphone it uh, they don't have these types of features so the first thing that we want to talk about is one it is xlr which means it can use 48 volt phantom power so you can hook this up to a interface like what i do i hook it up to my focus right scarlet solo studio pack uh usb interface and then i could just use my computer to catch the audio and then i can sync it in post which is really good because i can easily edit the audio quality and it sounds a lot better or if you guys aren't into that and you guys want to use you guys are more outdoors and you don't have anywhere that provides you 48 volt phantom power then you could use a double a battery it only requires one and this lasts for 
hours like literally days weeks and this has lasted me for like about two months already and i still haven't replaced it and i use duracell quantum because i think that's the best battery that lasts for a long period of time which is awesome and another cool feature about this is that this is super cardioid which means that it will go literally it'll focus directly what's at the subject which is what a shotgun microphone is really supposed to do where there's cardioid the super cardioid and then there's um dynamic cardioid which is basically more focused and this really with super cardioid it really focuses on the subject so it really won't catch what's around anything else so since it's not omnidirectional or bi-directional or anything like that it's really going to catch what's in front of the subject which is what really a shotgun is really intentional for and this does the job fantastic it's really a good shotgun microphone for the price and so it also has a on an off button and then it also has a high pass filter which means it'll filter out at least like negative 10 decibels of the audio so like let's say you have a furry windscreen you're outside but it's still catching a little bit of that wind you could just go all the way to high pass filter and then it'll reduce about negative 10 decibels of the audio which means it'll reduce a lot more of the um of the background noise like let's say if it's very windy or if it's like raining or something like that that's what it's meant to be and it really does the job as well and i always set it to high pass filters so if like there's anything around in my um in my studio room or if i'm outside and it catches a lot of the wind i make sure that that's on at least so these are some really cool features and also some other features well not really features but let's say specifications is that it goes up to twenty thousand hertz in um specification and stuff like that so now what i'm going to be showing you guys is audio quality so i'm going to be comparing it to the camera quality which is the lg v10 and i'm going to be also comparing it to the lavalier microphone which you're hearing currently right now and then you guys are going to hear the shotgun microphone using the interface and then using something else which i will explain a little bit later all right you guys all right, you guys, so what you are hearing right now is from the LG V10 smartphone, and it's currently raining outside, so you might hear a little bit of background noise, which is actually pretty good because I want to show you guys how much of the background noise this thing removes, as well as the lavalier microphone. So currently, you are hearing the audio coming from the camera, and it's okay, but you're hearing a lot of echo. And I have literally studio phones right here. I got the uh, studio blanket in the background, and it's reducing a lot of the reverb, a lot of the echoes, but still with the camera like that, with the audio it's just not that good it's really not that good what i definitely recommend is a lively microphone or a shotgun microphone if you prefer that as well so what we're going to be hearing now is the lavalier microphone and keep in mind though that this is unedited whatsoever it may be bumped up a little bit so that it can match with the other microphone quality in decibel level but overall other than that there's no compressor there's no equalizer there's nothing like that it's all basically raw audio so now what we're going to hear is from the lavalier microphone Okay, you guys, so now what you guys are hearing from is from the lavalier microphone itself. And there's still a little bit of background noise. It's still raining outside. It's only been like literally less than 30 seconds. I still got the studio foams. Everything is still set. And once again, the only thing that I'm changing is raising the volume so that I can match with the other microphone uh, audio quality in decibel levels. So I keep it at like around negative six decibels. I don't let it go anywhere past that so that it doesn't go to distortion or it doesn't go to the peak and then make uh, affect people that are using earbuds or headphones or stuff like that. So you are hearing the audio quality from the lavalier microphone. Once again, unedited whatsoever. The only thing that's edited is raising the volume a little bit so that it could be heard. So now what we're going to try out is the shotgun microphone. Now the one thing that I want to tell you guys is that the shotgun microphone is going to be hooked up to the audio interface of the Focusrite Scooter Solo Studio Pack. And with that, I'm going to be telling you guys a little bit of the pros and cons in a little bit, and then you guys can hear a difference. So you're going to hear this twice, and then I'll explain why. Okay, you guys, so now what you are hearing is from the Movo VXR100 shotgun microphone. I have the microphone placed on top of it as well, and I also have the high pass filter on and i got the studio phones on nothing is really changed it's still raining outside so you are going to hear a little bit of the background noise it's hitting the window stuff like that i have it connected to the audio interface and it's at like 60 percent in gain so it's pretty good and let me know what you think about it comparing to the lavalier microphone and the uh, on-camera microphone basically it's about a 
foot it's not even it's an arm's length it's not even two feet away from me where so you're going to compare it more to the camera audio because that's how far it is it's right next to the camera where if you compare it to the lavalier microphone it's pretty much right here where the shotgun microphone is right there but other than that you're still getting good quality and let me know what you guys think about it in the comments below so i got studio foams uh, studio blanket in the background so it's gonna reduce a lot of the reverb and stuff like that I also got carpet and I also got my bed right next to me as well so it's gonna be it's not gonna catch as much as the reverb or echo as like a camera audio or like the lavalier microphone as well so nothing has really changed and now what we're gonna see is a second test of the Movo shotgun microphone Okay, so now what you're listening to is the second time through the Movo VXR100 shotgun microphone and the only thing that I changed is one small thing. Now, the reason why you're going to hear it twice is because it's actually a con, which is a pretty big difference because you're going to have to buy something, which I will explain later in the con. So, the only difference is that the last audio, the audio interface was at 60% in gain. Now, it's at 100%. And you could hear maybe a little bit of a difference, maybe more background audio, maybe more of that, you never know, maybe more of a reverb or echo or something like that. Maybe the audio quality sounds better or it sounds worse. I don't know. Let me know down in the comments below. The only thing that I changed is the decibel level so it can match at like negative six. It doesn't go anywhere higher than that. Same thing with the others with the lavalier and the on-camera microphone. So let me know which one do you think. Do you prefer the first one or this one? Okay, so now the rest of the video is going to be played through the Movo VXR100 uh, shotgun microphone so that you guys can have a better understanding of how the audio quality sounds like. And the next thing that we're going to be talking about are the pros. Now, there's a lot of things of the pros. So the first thing is the settings of the microphone. The fact that it could accept XLR or AA battery is very important because for those filmers that want to uh, basically shoot outside and don't have anywhere that supports XLR like a audio interface like a portable audio interface like an XLR certain microphones only accept XLR and not AA battery so that limits the um, the film maker and basically they cannot use that shocker microphone where with this one you could use a AA battery to record it and then use a digital recorder a portable digital recorder that doesn't have 48 volt phantom power and you can still record with that which is awesome or you could use the XLR so you could switch around use AA batteries or use an XLR as well depending on where you are filming where the environment where uh, if you can get XLR you could use that but if you can't then you just use the AA battery which is pretty interesting because you could switch around and use which either one of those and the next thing that I want to talk about is the packaging basically what it comes with it comes with multiple different accessories so if you guys film outside that's also great because it comes with the furry windscreen and it also comes with the shock mount it also comes with a hand grip so that you can move around and easily catch the subject with good audio quality also if you're indoors you could get the shock mount you could get like a little tripod as well you can mount that microphone on and then you could as well get good audio quality it comes with multiple things it comes with the 26 foot XLR cable which is amazing and it also comes with an XLR to 3.5 millimeter cable which is also good so you could easily connect it directly to your camera and then get that so if you guys are having trouble with uh, editing it and putting it in sync there's that as well you can connect it directly to your camera and still get good audio quality better than the one built into your camera so that's awesome as well the third thing or uh, is the feature how it provides you with a high pass filter as a how it has an on and off button stuff like that and the audio quality is pretty good it's super cord cardioid so it goes directly to where you're aiming at it's not omnidirectional or anything like that where with some shotgun microphones you can still hear some of the surrounding even though it says cardioid or or super cardioid or even dynamic cardioid some of it is still pretty sensitive that it catches the surroundings whether it's left to right or behind the microphone or even like if it bounces off a subject or some stuff like that with this it barely even does that because it's super low with the super cardioid so it's very very impressive 
So now the next thing that we're going to be talking about are the cons. Now there's absolutely no con that I could think about except one major con. Now this one is major because remember when I told you guys that I'm going to be playing two different parts of the Movo VXR100 audio testing where you guys could uh, basically hear it twice. And the reason why is because one of them I had it up to 60% and the other one I had it to 100%. Now the reason why I have that is because the the shotgun microphone is very very low like it's very low if you were connected to a um audio interface like the focus by scarlet solo studio pack it's so it's not even sensitive whatsoever it's very low you have to bump that game all the way to 100 in order to catch some audio and then you have to do some crazy editing in order to raise that volume and when you're raising and editing that volume it messes up the audio completely it creates distortion it creates more echo it creates more reverb all that types of stuff and it messes up the audio when you start editing it too much where basically the only way to really fix it is that since this one doesn't need 48 volt phantom power even though it could use it and you could easily use a battery what i got was the cloud lifter cl1 i think this is cl1 yeah i got the cloud lifter cl1 mic activator which is basically an amplifier so what i do is that i connect the audio interface to this because this needs phantom power and since the shotgun microphone doesn't that's perfect so i connect the audio interface to the um, amplifier and then it uses the 48 volt phantom power and then i connect the microphone directly to this and what it does is that it boosts up the signal of the microphone up to like 20 to 25 decibels of clean signal and so now what i could do is i could go back to the interface and i could lower it to like about 60 to 50 percent instead of using all the way to 100 and you can still hear good audio quality and the fact is i'm not using the amplifier right now and i'm using the shotgun microphone so that means that the audio interface is up to 100 so you can hear maybe you can hear a difference maybe you don't but overall when you're really focused on it and when you actually see the the signal of it you see a difference and the thing about it being a con is that i had to spend 150 dollars more plus the 80 dollars to get this shotgun microphone in order to make it sound a lot better so that is a huge con because i know a lot of you guys want like get this nice budget microphone and then the fact that it's really low and you have to do some crazy editing is a hassle but then you have to spend like an extra 150 bucks in order to make it sound a lot better and have to do less work to the audio quality of it so that is what the con about this basically you're spending 150 plus an extra 80 you might as well just get like a better shotgun microphone like the Rode NTG2 or maybe 3 or something like that instead of getting this budget microphone and uh, then get this because I didn't know about it at first and then I realized I need to get this and then once I got it it made a big difference but overall I spent a lot of money overall in the shotgun microphone and with this so that's a huge con. So overall after hearing what the microphone comes with all the accessories, the features, the pros, the cons, the sound test, comparing it to the lavalier microphone and the camera microphone. What do you think I should score this? Because overall, this is a great budget microphone. And even though there's one major con about this, that you need like a amplifier or a cloud, like a cloud lifter CL1 mic activator in order to amplify the signal in order to make it like a lot better audio quality some people have no problem with editing it and mess messing around with the audio and making it sound a lot better people maybe some of you guys don't hear any difference comparing it to the first one to the second one and just to let you guys know that the first one was the one with the uh, cloud lifter cl1 and the second one is the one without it so if you guys want to go back to the video to hear that sound test again now that you know and you want to focus it more do you guys hear a difference if you guys don't then this is a great microphone because it is 80 bucks and it comes with so many accessories you can hook it up to the uh audio interface and if you don't have an audio interface it comes with an xlr to 3.5 millimeter cable you can connect that directly to the camera uh, and you can get good better better audio quality than the one built into your camera overall that's what the bottom line is you're gonna get better audio quality than the one built into your camera maybe to the one built uh, with the lavalier microphone but overall i would give this a seven and a half out of a 10 star rating because basically 
I have an issue with uh, audio quality. I want to make my audio quality sound a lot better. So I had to get the amplifier. I had to get the cloud lifter CI1 in order to improve my audio quality because I do hear a difference. And whenever I have the cloud lifter, it sounds a lot better. So the fact that I spent $150 more and 80 bucks, it's pretty expensive. And if I would have known that sooner, maybe I would have gotten like a Rode NTG2 or NTG3 and then got the accessories later on. But the fact that it comes with the accessories like right out of the box, it comes with all the accessories needed to get started. And the fact that it has pretty cool features and it provides you with 48 volt phantom power through XLR or it could just use a AA battery is amazing. But overall, because of that minor con, that major con, I mean, I would have to give it a 7.5 out of a 10 star rating. But overall, if you guys get all this, it's amazing. The audio quality is amazing. You could edit it as much as you want without really affecting the audio quality. But overall, like for those of you guys that don't know how to edit audio that much and don't want to spend that much money, it's not that great. So there you guys have it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know down in the comments below on what you guys think about this microphone. What do you think about it? What do you think of all the things that it comes with, the features, the pros and the cons, and the sound quality once again, comparing it to the built-in camera audio and also to the lavalier microphone. So let me know down in the comments below because I am, I really want to hear you guys' feedback. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Instagram, and Twitch. As always, this is Techie Chi. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace!